of a chiropractor uh, been practicing for 48 years, graduated in the United States. Okay, my problem is atrial fibrillation. It's a condition where the, uh, the heart is, uh, it's an arrhythmia. It's, you know, the heart is, is not beating properly. And uh, as a result, <coughs> I'm having difficulty um, uh, absorbing oxygen. The heart isn't pumping the blood to the to the to the lungs correctly. Atrial fibrillation. Um, yeah, and then I've also got a, a skin condition called scabies, which uh, I'm battling to get rid of. Um, what else? Yeah, I've got dry skin. Yeah, my eyes dry. I've, I've got a growth on my left eye that. Uh, it has been treated before, but it, it appears to have grown back again. Uh, yeah, and, and my right eye as well is also uh, red and it has been injured. Um, yeah, and the bladder, I've got a problem emptying my bladder because I injured my urethra when I fell on my penis when I was about 14 years old. But chain came off my bicycle and I, I hurt myself and then scar tissue developed over the years and occluded the urethra to the extent that I have to use a catheter if I want to pass urine. So I did, I did it maybe six or eight times a day. Um, now, and a chronic tiredness, weakness, low blood pressure. Blood pressure can be as low as 88 over 55 with a pulse of 95 and um, you know just general weakness always tired dry skin dry mouth uh, I'm always thirsty yeah. Dr. Roger is a chiropractor with over 48 years of practice and experience he has been suffering from severe low blood pressure that has made him unable to walk or do anything by himself. And he also has some other health related issues that have spanned for several years. And so he decided to send in his prayer request to Prophetess Anne's interactive prayer line. And days later, he received a call to prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit. Today, he and his wife share a wonderful testimony of how Jesus Christ has set him free. The evidence of Jesus Christ is our rising and walking. The evidence of Jesus Christ is lives changed and hopes restored. Good morning. This is Dr. Roger Powell. This is my dear wife, Aggie, sitting next to me. I just want to uh, put on record that uh, since Prophetess Anne prayed for me, uh, my health has improved dramatically. Um, I have a condition known as uh, atrial fibrillation. My blood pressure was very low. At, the, at that time, my blood pressure was around 89 over 70. <clears throat> I'm 72 years young. And uh, yeah, so that was a little bit on the low side. Um, my GP currently is very happy with uh, my progress, but I do give credit. Uh, to Prophetess and for she prayed for us. Um, I also had a bit of a problem with skin and that uh, has cleared up dramatically. Um, well, the atrial fibrillation, I, I, I was so weak I could hardly walk uh, from the lounge to the kitchen to make some tea. Uh, that, that has changed. I'm actually thinking of getting back on my paddle ski now. I've uh, become much more active. Um, even at work, I was pro having problems um, dealing with patients. I'm a chiropractor, so my work is physical, hands on. But now, uh, I can't believe the difference. It's, uh, I feel as if I'm getting younger by the day. And uh, yes, I just want uh, to make sure that. It is on record that we give credit to God and Jesus uh, for healing me. It's the best thing that ever happened in my life. 
It was 2017, Aggie. We went up to, to Nigeria, to Lagos. That was our first time, and I'm very pleased to say that I had the privilege of meeting the man of God himself and feeling the power TB Joshua had. <clears throat> Quite amazing. So, yeah, I just want to, to say thank you and praise Jesus. Good morning and win today, Prophetess Anne. Uh, my name is Agnes and this is Roger, he is my husband. Prophetess, I just want to thank you so much for praying for my husband. It has been so difficult and sometimes I thought uh, I was losing him because his condition was so bad. He was so sick to the extent that he almost lost hope. But uh, because of your prayers, um, God has done it for us. So I just want to thank you so much, Prophetess, for your prayers and for keeping us in your prayers. We know that you always pray for us and uh, we believe your God is going to do more in our lives. Thank you so much and God bless you. 